Hey guys, this is JPR with the new tutorial. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to make a glitch effect in After Effects. So if I play this, you see that uh, it's a nice, you know, good way to do a glitch effect that we all need sometimes in motion graphics. Um, and if you, uh, the way I'm doing this is through a displacement map, but the, what's driving the displacement map is actually uh, fractal noise in the pre-comp. Um, it's just very um, um, blocky uh, animation of just black and white values. So this is the only thing that's driving it, which is it's a nice procedural way to get it really quick. Um, so let's just get a new project file to show you how I did this. New project, save. Uh, we'll start with a new comp, 20 by 1080. We'll, um, Text, glit, glitch, effect, then we'll reset the position, um, I like to center these things, it's because um, we'll make a solid, a black solid, put that as the background, and then we'll duplicate again for uh, the fractal noise. We'll put this to block, and then we'll uh, pump up the contrast a lot. Uh, and then transform it so it's a very, very pixelated looking um, fractal. So um, we're going to take this off to uniform scale. We're going to stretch it out a lot on the width. Uh, maybe the that. I think that looks okay. Um, and then we're going to pre comp this and make sure you move all attributes to uh, new composition. So we'll call this glitch effect one or glitch driver one. Eh. So if we go back into our main comp, we'll make an adjustment layer. Adjustment layer, we'll call this glitch effect one. We're going to bring down the glitch driver all the way on the bottom and turn its visibility off. We're going to get the displacement map, put it onto the glitch effect one. We're going to reference the glitch driver. Uh, it, in here, it says for horizon displacement, you can use the red or green. It's You could switch it to light uh, luminance because that's the correct, but it could still read. It correctly on the red um, so it doesn't matter if it stays on the red or luminance but if you want to be correct uh, but um, that doesn't really matter but uh, so we see here that we could affect it as much as we want displace it what's really doing is looking at the black and white values and determining off that it um, will displacement so the black I believe is the one that is moving it so um, and the white keeps it in place, um, or maybe pushes it the other way. I'm not quite 100% sure. Um, so yeah, we could play with that as much as we want. Um, we'll actually make this. I don't like doing the vertical too much. Um, I just like keeping it very minimal on the vertical. And then we're going to actually, we'll call this one... We'll duplicate it and we'll call this, because it's going in one direction, we want to make sure it kind of centers. That goes back to center, so we'll put it to negative 150 so it pops back in because if we play here, it goes very off to the side. So this way it centers up. Um, we'll go negative 5 as well. So that's that's nice. Uh, if we play it, we don't really, we just see a static glitch effect, and so that's not what we want. What we want to do is have it uh, kind of changing all the time this fractal the way we do that is animate the evolve um, but instead of just keyframing it I just like to put a uh, expression so it's a very easy one we'll hold option and then uh, click the time stopwatch and we'll just put time times 2500 basically why it's so high is because we don't want 
every frame to kind of feel like it's evolving or looking like the last frame. We just want it to be different every single time. So we'll hit enter on that, we'll play it and just really fast. So that's exactly what we want. We'll go to the comp and we see the effects we get and it's a lot. Uh, maybe we wanna, it's a little too thin for me. Uh, it's all in your preference. Um, maybe we'll bring this down or bring it up. Yeah. Oh, the complexity, you want to maybe bring it down? Yeah, so it's a lot more blocky. Um, I forgot about that. Um, so, maybe we'll bring down the width a little bit. We'll do 2000. And let's see. Still not enough for me, it's not doing it quite right. Uh, it's a lot of finessing sometimes to get the right glitch effect. So, play it. Yeah, that's looking all right. Um, maybe a little bit more on the width. Uh, yeah, we'll go lower. Maybe bring up the complexity. Maybe we'll see how that is. It's a lot of playing with. It's not, I don't always remember the values I use. Um, so maybe we'll go back to five. Yeah. This one, it gets a lot of the small details. Uh, maybe that's a little bit too much for me. Maybe three. It's all on your preference and how much you want it to be distorted. So we don't want this constantly to be going because we can't really read the text. So what we're going to do is uh, the way to animate this on and off, we'll go to the brightness and at uh, frame 15 in the middle, it will be at this max and then um, We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we'll bring up the brightness all the way up. We'll bring it up to uh, 350. And then we'll go 10 frames. Um, one, two. We'll do the same thing there. Um, what did I do? <clears throat> Copy key, that key frame, put it there. So we see here. Kind of see, maybe we need to pump this a little, we'll go to 400. A lot of finessing. So we'll play it, we see it come, it's off, comes in and comes off again. So we'll see that, how it affects it. And yeah, that's, that's kind of the effect we want. It could be uh, it could be a lot better, but uh, that's the basic idea. But the next step is to actually get a constant uh, kind of um, uh, noisy uh, glitch, which will just kind of put it, it's not, so this glitch right here isn't so sudden. Sometimes maybe you want it to be so sudden, but you kind of want it to be a little, um, a little distorted throughout the whole entire thing. So that's just my preference. So we'll duplicate, oh, duplicate the driver. Uh, we'll bring it in, make sure the eyes shut off. Um, we'll bring down, we, the objective is to just get it really, really small and not as large as the, um, the, the big glitch. So we'll bring that down. And I think Smiri might work on this. It's all, it's all kind of arbitrary, um, just, I just, I just know that's what I used last time for this part. Uh, we'll maybe stretch this out a little bit. Um, take off the brightness animation. Uh, over here. Um, and then now we'll duplicate the adjustment layer and we'll reference the right glitch driver. And the thing is, we don't want this to be as much of a, uh, a glitch as the, the main one, so or as much of a displacement. 
for foot to five foot is 10, 2.5, negative 10, negative, eh, negative 2.5. Um, so you see it kind of being constant. Maybe that's a little bit too much. Um, we'll maybe five, one, negative five, negative one. Yeah, so that's that's looking okay. Uh, so you're just kind of seeing a very constant noise, and then a big one comes in. So that kind of puts it in a nice kind of uh, old retro -y feel. Um, so hopefully you guys find this tutorial useful. Um, until the next tutorial, I will see you guys then.